So today I'm going to be showcasing to you guys one of the best free-to-play linking partners for the LR Super Saiyan 2 AGL Gohan, which is himself the Tech Super Saiyan 2 Gohan from the World Tournament. Now, I recently got him 100% with the recent 30th World Tournament on Global, so I, I thought it'd be a good time to showcase this card finally. And um, let's go through the card really quickly, and I'll show you the benefits of running him instead of his other best free-to-play linking partner, which is the Swap Out Goku and Gohan, which I do have on the team, actually. 14,615 HP, 14,088 attack, and 8,405 defense. This guy is those rare units that has 5,000 to all stats. Like, what? It's actually quite a surprise. I actually didn't realize this until I was thinking about showcasing this guy. So I went back and looked at other World Tournament cards, such as the AGL Cooler that I showcased previously. 3,000 to all stats. The GT Goku. 3,000 to all stats. And even another fellow support unit from the World Tournament. 3,000 to all stats. Now, I'm not too sure if he's the only one that has 5,000 to all stats. But it's actually quite cool to see that another free-to-play unit has 5,002 all stats. He is a leader for AGL tech and physical ties key plus 2 HP and attack plus 50% with supreme damage to the enemy and massively raises his own attack for one turn. And for the passive skill, he's a support unit for 30% attack and defense and key plus 2 for AGL tech and physical. And for the hidden potential skills, I've given 14 critical, 9 additional and 3 dodge since he is still a regular support unit. With Golden Warrior, Saiyan Warrior Ray, Super Saiyan, Kamameha, Soul vs. Soul, Prepared for Battle, and Shattering the Limit. With six categories, Hyper Saiyans, Full Power, Goku's Family, Youth, Androids, Slash Cell Saga, and Kamameha. Now, I do have the other best free-to-play linking partner for the Super Saiyan 2 LR Gohan. The benefits of running Super Saiyan 2 Gohan in some circumstances is just the categories that he has. We can benefit him by running him on Full Power and Hybrid Saiyans, I believe, with the AGL Gohan having those three categories. Yep. So... If it was any other categories, then the father-son card would come in clutch. But today, we're going to be linking up with the AGL Gohan on a youth category team for 120% stat boost with the new Goku and Bulma. First time I'm showcasing under a 120% leader on global. We have a bunch of supports in here. We're just going to jump straight into the Super Saiyan 4 Goku Doken event and see how well he does. Um, usually, when it comes to support, I would still try run the best attack, but I really wanted to showcase with him linking up with the Age of Gohan. Unfortunately, there is one big down factor, which is if you transform, you won't get the big boost of having the Super Saiyan Goku on the team part. That's the biggest problem where I would say it's maybe not worth to run him at all, but there's still also benefits for not transforming in general. So we are going to put him at the last spot for now. And um, let's just get rolling here. I'm gonna go like that so we can get a super attack with the pan. We can still get a super attack with him because he has a lot of key support in here. Should be able to tank this, 76k. Okay, we got 308,000 HP though, which is pretty good. And it, whatever we lost, we'll probably get a nice bit of damage here so we can heal up anyway. Yep, 181,000. We have 4 HP, almost. Alright, here we go. 698,000 attacks that already with 727,000 damage. Now, I can't wait to see that additional super attack come in clutch and see how much damage he can do then. But for now, let's just keep on rolling. Get that type advantage, which is pretty good. I will keep the uh, Great Same and 4 here. He is also a youth supporter, which is pretty good for extra damage. And defense, of course. We should be able to take out this Goku pretty quick and easy right here. Raise that defense up 1.2 million. It's going to be scary when he's going to steal, when he's going to start stealing the showcase at the AGL phase still. Goku's probably the best linking partner overall to everybody here, so he, I'm going to put him in the last spot. Actually, I'm going to put B-Pan in the last spot because we'll probably need the defense coming up very soon anyway, and I want to get the active skill going straight away. I don't think we are going to get a Doku mode in the showcase, unfortunately, just because of how strong our team is in general. Uh, you know, we're going to get through the first two STR phases pretty quickly. And then when it comes to the... I mean, if we get a crit, the age of phase will be a piece of cake as well. Ah, man. They, Goku loves to super attack Gohan on Icarus. That's all good. We're going to get this super attack in and heal up anyway. 
Oh, good there. All right, so his stats are 99,000. Gohan's is at 250k. Now, I haven't actually really used Gohan all too much, so I don't really know what his average stats are without support, and we have double support here, but hopefully we don't kill, actually. 18 key. I'm going to risk it, just so we can get everybody linking up together. I pray this Gohan doesn't crit or kill. But it doesn't really matter, just because we're not at type advantage, but it would be cool to see some extra damage. Yes, there we go. All right, here we go. 846,000 attack stat now. 664,000 critical. He's actually doing a lot more damage than a lot of my other supports that I usually use in general. So that's pretty good. All right, let's check him out now. Um, you have damage reduction, so I'm going to take you along. I'm actually going to use a Bulma. It lasts for two turns, so next turn we'll have a big boost. Because it's still a showcase for the Tech Super Saiyan 2 Gohan in the end. So I do want to showcase to the best of my abilities. I'm actually just going to grab this green orb so that we can gain a little bit of the Doka meter. Actually, we might be able to get a Doka mode if we are pretty careful with what orbs we collect. I think we can still stun on this phase. I'm not too sure though. No, we can't. All right. Get that additional super. I know we can still lower attack though, so that would be pretty crucial. In survivability. No, we can't we can't actually we can't actually lower attack. I always forget which parts you can lower attack and which parts you can't. Alright, but we take the super here, which is all, all good, man. 21k. Alright, here we go. I do not need to put it. Okay, I'm gonna do do this. I'm going to use the, the active skill right here. I, I, I want to see this a million tax stat right here. 188,000 attack stat. Probably finish up this phase by grabbing all these blues. I missed at 200,000 attacks. It's insane. 1.1 million attack stat. No additional just yet. But we did 1.2 million damage right there, which is crazy. I think he's just the support unit with only 30% attack and defense. And he's almost outputting the same amount of damage as the Gohan there. Alright, so let's go continue on our reign here. Grabbing as many colored orbs as we can. I will use a Ghost Usher. Because we have the same man here. I not You gotta be a little bit careful with Super Saiyan 4 Goku at the very least. Honestly, before the showcase, I was really underrating the Super Saiyan 2 Gohan for his, his support capabilities, but now I'm seeing the true light. He's actually really good. Alright, looks like we're getting an automatic 18 key super. And no extra colored orbs. But that's actually pretty good. If we, Goku survives this turn and the next turn after, we should be able to get the Doka mode pretty easily. Uh, we have 139,000 attacks. There, so a big difference when it comes to having B-Pan's active skill and not having B-Pan's active skill. But Gohan's now hits at 3 million attacks that now. I can only imagine what it would be like under double 170 liters, because I can never do that. And this is only under 120. Yeah, so without BPAM, we dropped it under about 800,000. But to think that he can actually get... Oh, actually, without B Bulma as well, the uh, 1 mil attack stat is pretty good. It actually made a big difference. Oh, no. Why would you super attack again? Please don't kill. I think we can... We can handle this. We can handle this. We know super attack with everybody. And I mean everybody. We should be okay. Okay, so gonna think this smart. B Pan will probably so far so good. Perfect, perfect. Alright. Now, are we going to die here? That's the next question. Probably. So I am probably going to use a princess name. <laughs> If B-Fan doesn't activate a passive, we will get hit a lot. 
Now, all we can rely on is nobody getting additional super attacks. 21k with Princess Snake. That's much better. All right, you only got additional normal. I will take that. All right, we are safe. We can actually get the Doku mode here. What's our support? All right, our support is not too bad as well. It's not like we never had a bad support. Let's finish this off. Um, you probably will be the better linking partner here. Of course, you have Super Saiyan and Kamehameha. And our final time, we're going to use our Bulma to exaggerate this showcase right here. And then we jump up to 173,000 attack stat. Let's grab the final red orb to get the Doka meter. And take a super attack, see how well we can defend. I guess we can see that. How much will he take? Type advantage. 37k. Unfortunately, we weren't able to see the additional super attack and see how big the 50% increase in attack would have been. But uh, I think the Doka mode probably would show off what it would be in terms of damage if it was to happen. Or close enough, at the very least. Alright, here we go. What's our damage output? 1.4 million damage. I was going to say critical, not a critical, for a support unit. Guys, that's going to wrap up the showcase for the Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. I'm going to leave a poll in the top right corner. Make sure you click on that. Let me know if you think the Super Saiyan 2 Gohan is worth the orbs or not. As always, guys, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Share this video around. I'll see you in tomorrow's video as always. Stay busy. Peace out.